Good morning everyone. Today is a beautiful sunny day at the lake as you can see. I'm already in the upper and I have to hurry up and get to the house as soon as possible. And there is something strange happening on our road and probably the highway was closed so we have trucks and it is really busy. But I hope to get home soon. Uh, because um, today is a damp day <laughs> and I have only one hour until it closes and I hope to do one load and then there is a very interesting project I have started yesterday and my patrons already seen what I've done and I will show you just a little bit you know, while I'm driving to the house and while I'm working on my dump project so yeah here it is the beam something um, glued to the whole f beams and the wood boards and then all the the all the, the wood is just uh, with this black stuff what is that like smoke or what here is a little bit like moisture but not the moisture I'll try to touch it if it's sticky or not Now I'm definitely getting back home. We have a situation because the trucks, they, they have to go through these tiny little streets and yeah. Okay. Oh, poor truck drivers. The day is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> oh. I'm wondering how many of them there are there. It is less than one hour until the recycling station closes, so I have to hurry up. I have just arrived and look at this. There is like a little bit of frost and snow in Oro. I can't believe. I thought there is no snow here, but definitely it's like all all the hill is covered with frost oh, but that means i have look at this can you see that but that means i have to cover my roses oh poor little things i hope they're fine and my lemon has to be moved from here and definitely i have to cover my roses oh poor little things yeah the frost is on everywhere on the leaves oh my god and here well, it is not that slippery, but well, ta -da! the first load is in all the old liner, is leaving the house. And the, the, the church bell is ringing, that means it's 12 o'clock, 12 and I have to get to the dump as soon as possible. <laughs> oh my God.
This is the first frost at Oro. And it is a glorious day. Look at the mountain tops there. So, so beautiful. And it's like felt that it's gonna be tough, tough time for birds because I saw them sneaking in our bushes in the garden. And I yesterday evening, I just urgently stopped at the, at the pet shop and I bought six kilos of bird food for wild birds and um, the first thing I will do today at the, at the house is I'll put bird food everywhere and um, I hope this food will be good for them it's a special food for wild birds so they say it's good for them and they they're not getting fat <laughs> And um, all looks great at the garden. One of the projects, I have to trim this edra because it's gone really wild and we don't want that. So I think it's a good idea to trim it a little bit and to decorate the front, the entrance with the branches. Maybe not today, but this week definitely. Oh, it is so pretty. So, so beautiful. Yesterday Richard stepped by and we had eggs on the new terrace here. <laughs> Looking at the mountain tops, it was so beautiful. I'm not sure if I will be making eggs for myself today. Maybe yes, maybe not. Um, <laughs> because I'm too excited about the ceiling project. And we were, oh, sorry, my hair. Oh, we were talking. Oh, it is so beautiful. Look, look at the background. Oh, so pretty. And um, we were talking with um, with a builder and our friends who are going through the renovation. And this, this type of the ceiling seem to be quite normal. And but the thing is, we have to remove it, and we have to treat the wood, and we have to investigate in our in the state of our beams and if it's needed we have to reinforce them or may, them or maybe not so the first thing is to demolish the ceiling and this is what i'm going to do today <laughs> i have totally forget forgotten that i have um, iris bulbs the holland the dutch iris bulbs to plant and it's time to plant them and they already started shoots Oh yeah, yeah, but I'm so scared. Today is not not the best day to plant them. The soil is so cold. Maybe later in the day when it's w warmed up. Also, the hyacinths. I couldn't resist. I know I promised not buying bulbs this year, but I couldn't resist. Uh, I've got just these two beds. Also, I've got lots and lots of different herbs and. Um, greens for for the salads I have to see where to sow them maybe I will organize something like a tiny little greenhouse in a little garden and also I'm so worried about my ro newly planted roses I think I will cover them with um, ivy leaves oh what is that so I will go up there and I will cut some ivy leaves and I will um, yeah, protect my roses. Okay, here are my edra. I'm collecting it and covering the roses. Hopefully it will help. is my first rose. I hope it is not too late. But poor thing, she was here in the cold. The other thing I like, it looks so pretty. It makes garden look festive. Ok, 
day. I very much hope it will help. I will be getting somewhere, um, just a leaf mulch. We don't have any like that at our property, so I have to source it somewhere. <laughs> Right, we have some bird food here. I definitely have to improve our bird feeders, but for now, this will work. We have one here, and I just uh, put one there on the stones, just little plate with the bird food, and then we have one here under the roof, um, which is this one. And um, yeah, this one has to work well anywhere they're sneaking here so they will be very easy finding this one i also put some on the windowsill in the future kitchen yeah it would be so nice in future having a washing stand here by the window and just looking out of the window and the birds would come and have food here so i'd better start now feeding them <laughs> how they will like it and here in the kitchen let's have a look what I've done yesterday ah oh, that we do has to be closed Ta -da! we have a lovely hole in the ceiling and I'll change my clothes now and I will be opening this and hopefully very soon the whole ceiling will be gone <laughs> I'm totally ready to demolish this ceiling. Let's have fun. Oh, Sergei is being so jealous he's not here. You can tell I'm oh! all right. I think I need better mask. And yeah, <laughs> you can tell I'm very happy. It all goes well. Um, a bit tiring, but good. And I think now it's a perfect time to eat fat lunch. <sighs> Here is my the most amazing kitchen on the entire planet and it's all working well and it is beautiful. Now it's hot, nice and hot. I'll put some butter in and then cheese and eggs and bread and olives. Mm. Just look at the colors. Oh, they're so shiny. And now I have to just to break them a little bit. Like that. This is my favorite way to have my eggs. Good. And then some cheese. So it will melt. And then I will put a slice of bread on the top. Mm, this is so good. Okay, my lunch is ready and it smells delicious and it is warm. This is the most important thing and beautiful. <laughs> okay, I think I have to find a nice copper lid on this pan so I will be able to carry the whole pan staying warm uh, to the upper terrace for, for my lunch. But for now I'm using just a plate 
and I'm turning off the light and I bring with me the whole pan. This is so good. Oh, I love it. And bon appetit, everyone. The only uh, disadvantage of this kitchen are the spiders. And this one was just absolutely huge. And I was holding it all this time. Oh my God, where did it go? It was huge. I, where is it? Where? I was holding it all the time with my biscuits. Oh. oh here it is. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Look how beautiful the sunset is. Oh, I love it. Oh, it is so pretty. Oh, look at this. Oh, I've decided to have a little break and walk around the house to see the sunset and the mountains. Oh, it is so pretty. And the dog, as always, is barking. <laughs> oh, it is so pretty. I think that could be my snowman costume for this Christmas. <laughs> Neighbors think I'm crazy. I might be, just a little bit. <laughs> and I have covered uh, all my newly planted plants. But definitely I need some more things to cover them. Yeah. And the neighbor told that it's snowing here at Oro, so I have to be prepared. Okay, back to the kitchen project. <laughs> So far the progress in the kitchen looks like that. I have made, I have cleared two sections, one of them, one of which I cleared from the straw as well. And this is really annoying because it's like lots of sticks and you have to organize them and put in a bucket. And then uh, the plaster goes into the bags. Oh, and the lighting is so beautiful in the kitchen now. It's a sunset light. So pretty. Today's progress looks like that. Um, two sections clear it really well. One section 
so so and the fourth section a bit better but still um, not perfect and from those three and a half sections we have that much rubbish and uh, yeah actually the beams look really good and solid and as well as floorboards there is one I'm not sure of. I need someone to look at it. This one. But I touched it and it is really solid. But it's kind of hanging, swinging. <laughs> Maybe that was an additional board to support the one um, behind it. We need to investigate in this. And then I finally could understand what is this iron, this steel beam. Yep, I will go up there and show you what's happening there. <laughs> and also another interesting find is a skeleton of a mouse. Yeah, that can go to our cabinet of curiosities. Poor little thing. And... Yeah, I'll get in there and we can have a look together. <laughs> All right. So. And then every single section holds two beams in the middle of the room. So very, very interesting all this. And then there. Yep. <laughs> and this is all the rubbish from, from the this section of the ceiling. I think I've done enough for today. <laughs>